What's going on my fellow Elegant Savages? It's Termar Lawton, The Elegant Savage. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about how you can get a bigger chest without using any weight. If this sounds interesting to you, stay tuned. So in today's video, we actually have five push-up variations that are going to target each part of your pec. We're going to start off by doing a push-up burn, which is going to really focus on the inner part of the chest. Then we're going to go to wide push-ups, focusing on the exterior part of our pecs. Then followed by that, we're going to do elevated push-ups, working on the upper pecs. Then we're going to single out each pec by doing archer push-ups and actually singling, singling out the exterior part of our pecs. And then we're going to finish off with explosive variation doing diamond to regular. So let's go ahead and get into today's routine. All right, guys. So for the first exercise, we're actually going to bring it down to the floor and do a push-up burn. And honestly, it's push-up, so we're going to bring every exercise down to the floor. Now, remember, keeping everything in your form tight. If you don't know how to do push-ups correctly, make sure you go watch my video on perfect push-ups. But what you're going to do is actually bend your elbows in, keeping your elbows pointed back towards behind you, keeping them close to your body. And you're gonna come down and you're gonna hold halfway. The whole time while you're holding, you gotta keep your core tight, keep your hips up, and you're gonna squeeze your hands like you're trying to bring your hands together closer to your chest. And that's what's really gonna focus on this inner chest. And again, we know that increasing our time under tension is great for hypertrophy, which is, in essence, muscle growth. So we're gonna hold this and you can generally just work up your time. I would say shoot for 30 seconds and when you can get to holding this for a minute, you're in really great shape and you should probably add some extra weight. The next push-up that we have is a wide push-up. So as you can see, I'm going really wide. Now the keys to the wide push-up that a lot of people make a mistake in is they lose their basic push-up form. So they start to do this and flare their elbows out. The same thing that you do with a regular push-up, you still wanna tuck your elbows in, come down, contract your chest, and really try and squeeze your hands towards your chest. The same rules apply. You just really wanna knock these out. A good rep range for this, again, we're aiming for hypertrophy, and we know that with calisthenics, a lot of times you actually have to go a little bit past the range of the typical eight to 12. So if you can do this for 12 reps, that's great. And once you can do that, you should probably add some weight with a weight vest, or if you have a partner, you can throw weights on your back. So the next variation that we have is an elevated push-up. As you can see, you want to get something that's probably about knee height starting off. You can always go higher, but if you're a beginner, I'm get one that's about knee height. And what you want to do is put your hands directly under your shoulders, keeping your core tight so don't let your hips sag, keeping your core tight, lean forward so that your shoulders actually go over your hands, go down, press up. Same rules as a regular push-up apply, same rep range, Everything applies the same exact way. And this is a really good exercise, a really great exercise to hit if you're not in the gym, you don't have any weights to really target your upper pec. All right, guys. So these are arguably one of my favorite variations of push-ups, at least when I first started calisthenics. These are archer push-ups. Now, what they're going to do is single out each pec and work on that exterior outer portion of your pec. And you have two ways that you can do this. What you want to do is get a wide grip and angle your hands outward. So just like you were doing like side squats, what you're gonna do is go down to one side, keeping the other arm as straight as possible, come back up. Now, there's two different ways you can do it. The first way is you can actually rep out and knock out all your reps on one side, or you can go back, to, back and forth. And you'll see people doing this, looking down their hands, looking cool and stuff like that. Whichever one's more comfortable. Personally, which one's gonna give you the most growth is probably actually burning out each side and making sure that you don't have any muscle imbalances. You can do 12 easy on this side, but you can only do 10. An easy way to correct it is knock this one down to about eight and then keep doing 10 on this side to correct a muscle imbalance in your chest. All right, guys. So the last movement we're gonna go into is diamond to regular push-ups. So what we're gonna do is make sure our elbows aren't flaring out. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how the movement looks. We're gonna go down, touch our hands, let's float out to regular. Come back in, touch our hands, let's float out to regular. Now the reason why this movement is so crucial and it's excellent for putting on mass to your chest is because you're using your type two fast twitch muscle fibers. And we know that those fibers have a higher contractile strength 
meaning that they're subject to hypertrophy a lot higher than type 1 muscle fibers. And so whenever you're doing movements, whenever you can make them explosive and controlled, you have a higher chance and it'll be more effective at building size and getting those gains. All right guys, after you finish those five exercises, you can put those into a set of about three or four. I'll go into sets and reps at the end of this video. But what you also can do is add in a max push-up set. Now you can either do a max out set at the end of your entire workout, or you can add it in at the end of each set. It just depends on where you're at in your journey. But all you're gonna do is make sure that all your push-up mechanics are in order, great form, and just max out. All right, my fellow Elegant Savages, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Again, like I said, I will tell you all about the reps and the sets at the end of this video. So in regards to reps and sets, when it comes to reps and you're doing calisthenics, you generally, if you're trying to pump a lot of blood into that muscle, and that's what hypertrophy training does, it pumps a lot of blood into the muscle to increase your gains and increase your size and your mass. What you wanna be doing is anywhere to 12 to 20 reps just depending on your fitness level and where you're at in your journey. Once you're doing past 20 reps, unless you're training for endurance, you wanna go ahead and slap on a weight vest or put some weight on your back if you have a partner or something like that. So again, like I said, you all can do this entire workout without having any weights, but at some point when you want to continue to progress your gains, so depending on where you're at watching this video, you'll definitely want to add weight to your movements. In regards to sets, you can do this whole routine for about three to four sets. Again, that just depends on your fitness level. But if you have any questions, definitely drop some comments down below. If you like this video, leave me a like and definitely subscribe and share it with a friend that you know needs to get their chest gains right. Well, without further ado, remember to always train like a savage, guys, and I'll catch you all next Sunday at 9 p.m.